Hello, my name is Dr. Ramel Geronimo. I started using Dr. Karazian's Hashimoto's treatment protocol in April of 2009, and since then I have helped many patients just like you improve their quality of life. If you have any questions or would like to get started with your treatment, you can email me at rg at powerchiro.com. Once Hashimoto's has been confirmed through the presence of antibodies in the blood, Dr. K's first dietary modification is to be 100% gluten-free 100% of the time. Even a small exposure to gluten can flare up an autoimmune attack lasting 6 to 8 months. Gluten is found in wheat, oat, barley, and rye. Studies have also shown that iodine can promote a Hashimoto's attack, so remove all sources of iodine from your diet. Iodine is commonly found in table salt and some thyroid supplements. The next step is to treat the immune system. First, we need to determine if your autoimmune mechanism is either Th1 or Th2 dominant. For a more detailed explanation of this, please watch my other video titled Autoimmune. When the Th1, Th2 mechanisms are balanced, the next step is to support the function of the regulatory T cells. Clinical and laboratory research has shown that high doses of vitamin D, glutathione, and superoxide dismutase are highly effective in supporting the regulatory T cells. Dr. Karazian recommends an emulsified liquid vitamin D in a fish oil base. This is important because vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin thus it is better absorbed when it is combined with the fish oil. The formulation also includes EPAs, DHAs, and vitamins A, E, and K. When combined together with these ingredients, vitamin D has a synergistic effect on boosting the immune system. It comes in a natural orange flavor and it really is one of the best vitamin D supplements currently on the market. The glutathione and superoxide dismutase is a cream that is rubbed in highly vascularized areas such as the palms, the elbow crease, the feet, behind the knees, armpits, or on the neck directly over the thyroid. These two supplements are phenomenal products and are crucial for boosting the immune system. After the immune system is treated, the next step is to address the triggers that promote a Hashimoto's attack. Examples are hidden or subclinical infections, leaky gut, dysglycemia or sugar imbalances, adrenal fatigue, estrogen surges, and a leaky brain to name a few. However, before addressing these triggers, anemia must first be treated or ruled out. Anemia is defined by the lack of healthy red blood cells that deliver oxygen to every other cell in our body. Without this important oxygen delivery system, the body cannot heal. Thus, anemia takes priority over the previously mentioned triggers. Anemia is often associated with Hashimoto's and a simple blood test can confirm its presence. After the anemia is addressed or treated, the next step is to rid the body of any hidden infections. The most common undetected infection is the H. pylori bacteria which usually infects the duodenum of the small intestine. The most common symptoms are acid reflux or heartburn, ulcers, poor digestion, frequent burping and sometimes nausea and vomiting shortly after eating. A 30-day protocol of specific herbs and nutrients will clear out this infection. At the same time, these supplements will also help in repairing a leaky gut. Blood sugar imbalances or dysglycemia plays a crucial role in managing Hashimoto's. Other than oxygen, cells need a constant steady supply of glucose to function properly. Dysglycemia can cause insulin surges which can flare up an autoimmune attack. It also causes harmful inflammation that accelerates cellular degeneration and aging. In addition to the insulin surges, it is also important to address the adrenal glands. The adrenals are small hormone producing glands that sit on top of the kidneys. They are responsible for secreting hormones in response to stress. 
These hormones are cortisol, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and aldosterone. With chronic everyday stress, it is common to get adrenal fatigue and the loss of adrenal function. The common symptoms are insomnia, waking up tired even after a restful night of sleep, facial weight gain, and dizziness when standing up. Sticking with the endocrine system, estrogen surges have a direct influence on thyroid function. In addition, estrogen surges increase the amount of proteins that bind to thyroid hormones. Bound thyroid hormones are inactive and thus slow down the metabolism. They need to be free and unbound to exhort any of its metabolic effects. Estrogen surges are common in women who are on birth control or who are going through pregnancy or approaching menopause. Leaky brain occurs as a result of a thinning of the blood-brain barrier. Chronic stress and inflammation can decrease the thickness of this delicate barrier allowing harmful cytokines to pass in and out of the brain. These cytokines attack areas of the brain responsible for maintaining neurotransmitter balance. Thus, levels of serotonin, dopamine, GABA, and acetylcholine are altered and result in severe mood swings, depression, and memory decline. As you can see, Hashimoto's is a complicated condition involving not only the thyroid, but also the brain, the immune, the endocrine, and the gastrointestinal tract. As a result of Dr. Karazian's breakthrough treatment protocol, we now have the knowledge to address these mechanisms and to improve the quality of lives of hundreds of thousands of patients who suffer from this autoimmune condition. This concludes my presentation. As always, I hope that you have found it educational. Please forward this to other people who suffer from Hashimoto's so that they too can start enjoying a better quality of life. Thank you and be well.